Okay, welcome back everybody. For this video, I'll be discussing the reaction of changing an alcohol to an alkyl halide. Okay, this is one of many reactions I'll be uh, discussing. So let's get started right away. Um, if we start off with a secondary, okay, in this case secondary, um, this example that I'm going to show you, this style of forming an alkyl halide applies to both secondary and tertiary, okay? Okay, so if you, have, if you start off with a secondary alcohol and use one of these types of reagents, so hydrobromic acid if you want to put a BR in that position of the OH, hydrochloric acid if you want to put a chlorine in that position, or you can use this if you want to put an iodine in this position, okay? So in this case I focus on HBR, and so if you use any of these types of reagents with a secondary or tertiary alcohol, it will give you this as your product, okay? So if it's tertiary, you get a tertiary alkyl halide, okay? So, the reaction mechanism for this goes as follows. So reaction mechanism, okay? It follows somewhat of an SN1 style. So I'll put on this right here, SN1 style, okay? So, if this is your alcohol, right? Right, it has those two pairs of electrons on it, um, and you're reacting with again. I'm focusing on HBr. HBr. What happens first is that you have a pair of electrons from the oxygen attack the hydrogen. Okay, you're gonna form a bond between this hydrogen and this oxygen right here. Okay, now the pair of electrons between these two species goes on the bromine. Okay, so the product of this step is basically this. You have your oxygen with an H, an H, and it still has a lone pair on it, but it has a positive charge, okay? It has a positive charge. Calculate a formal charge for oxygen, it will be positive, positive one. And um, you have Br minus. Okay, now what happens is that you kick off this group, the soon to be H2O group. Okay, and the product of this step, okay, is basically a carbocation intermediate. You formed a secondary carbocation intermediate, and it makes sense that you would form a secondary carbocation intermediate since it's SN1. The more stable the carbocation intermediate is the one with more uh, groups attached to the carbon where the positive charge is located. Okay, and a byproduct of that step was again the water. So I'll draw like that. Okay, and you have Br minus still. Now, simply the Br minus forms a bond with the carbon that has a positive charge. Not everybody's happy. Remember, um, bromine now has a full octet because it took uh, the pair of electrons, okay? So it, it could share a pair of electrons with that carbon. So the result of that step is basically your secondary alkyl halide, okay? And then again, you have your H2O as a byproduct. That's all it is to this uh, to this reaction and reaction mechanism. So if you start off with a secondary or tertiary alcohol, you'd use one of these types of reagents, HBr, HCl, HI, to substitute the OH for the Br, the Cl, or I. So basically, it was substituted for halogen, and these are types of um, and the halogens come in these types of pairs, whereas HBr, HCl, HI, and there you have it. Now let's focus on um, what if you had a primary alcohol? What would happen now? What what would be the um, reaction mechanism to that, and how well, how would it change from a secondary or tertiary? Well, let's get started then. So if you have a primary alcohol, okay and in order to change it to an alkyl halide 
the reagents you can use are PBr3 if you want to substitute the OH for BR or you could use SOCl2 in this case I'll focus on BR again okay so I'll do PBr3 and you'll form BR okay this out this uh, primary alkyl halide okay so the unique thing about this reaction using these reagents is that it's universal these reagents can apply to any type of alcohol okay so you can have a primary secondary or tertiary alcohol and if you use these reagents it would uh it would substitute the, the OH for a BR so this will work for primary, secondary, or tertiary alcohol. Okay, primary, secondary, or tertiary, and the reaction uh, mechanism for this is as follows. Okay, the reaction mechanism for this. Let's move some of this paper out of the way for a second. Okay, the reaction mechanism for this is, say we have our, our, our primary alcohol, okay, and we have, I'll write it like this, PBr2 and Br up here, okay. Now what happens is that this, again you have two pairs of electrons on the oxygen, it will make a bond, the oxygen will make a bond with the PBr2 while this pair of electrons and the bromine will be kicked off okay so that's the first step the result of this step is basically this okay positive on that oxygen now you have PBr2 okay that's what you have plus Br minus now in this case this falls more of an SN2 style of uh, mechanism okay and as this is being kicked off right here because it's a good leaving group now the BR is coming into its place so it's forming a bond at the carbon where this leaving group is leaving and now your product is basically this you have your your primary alkyl halide right plus you have formed this as a byproduct <clears throat> and that's the byproduct you form uh, as a result of kicking off this this leaving group right here okay so let's go over this again if you have a primary secondary or tertiary alcohol you can use in these reagents to substitute a BR or CL into this to the position where the OH is located and that's what we have done here okay and um, the reaction mechanism follows us SN2 style um, pair of electrons from the oxygen forms a bond be between the oxygen and the the the, the phosphorus okay and um, a pair of electrons in the bromine get kicked off excuse me you form this intermediate with a positive charge on the oxygen now this is a very good leaving group and that is exactly what it's going to do is going to leave and you form a bond between this carbon and the BR while this is being kicked off and that's what that's exactly what happens you now you have your primary alkyl halide and now you have this as a byproduct this o, this OH attached to a PBr2 and there you have it this is the first reaction of many that I'll be discussing and this is basically again this is the conversion of an alcohol to an alkyl halide so stay tuned for more reactions that occur dealing with alcohols. Thank you for listening and I hope you enjoyed. Hey everybody, I want to just make one quick, tell you guys one quick thing before I uh, move on to the next reaction is that 
in regards to the first example of reactions I showed you. So if you have a secondary alcohol like that, right? Again, if it's secondary alcohol and you use HBr or HCl or stuff like that, it will follow an SN1 reaction. The thing I forgot to tell you guys is that you need to watch out for rearrangements, okay? So if you're using HCl, you're not going to form the alcohol in that position, okay? You're going to form the alcohol in this position. So this is a quick example I wanted to show you, okay? So you would form the alkyl halide right there, okay? And I'll show you guys the mechanism right quick for this reaction. So if you have your, right, your alcohol reacting with HCl, right? Again, forms a bond right there. A pair of electrons of the chlorine pop off. So then now you have this intermediate positive charge, right? Plus chlorine, the negative, right? This is a good leaving group. It leaves perfectly. You form this carbocation intermediate right here. Okay? Plus Cl minus. And you have H2O here, right? Now, this is a secondary carbocation, okay? What we could do is that do a hydride shift, okay? There is a hydrogen right here, right? And we could do a hydride shift to shift the positive charge to this position right here. Now, where it would be a tertiary carbocation intermediate, okay? So that is what, exactly what we'll do. We'll form an arrow right there. Okay, going to, that, to this carbon right here, to this carbon right there, and the result of this hydride shift, hydride shift, is basically this. You form a positive charge at this carbon right here. So this carbon right here, this one right here, has a positive charge now, okay? Now what you could do is do the final step of having the chlorine attached there where you'll have finally your tertiary alkyl halide. So look out, let me write it right here, look out for rearrangements. We arrange arrange it's okay. So look out for rearrangements because they could play a really uh, key role in your product because if you were to draw this product right here, let's see. CL there, this is wrong. You can form a more stable carbocation intermediate as shown right here. And their CL and your CL can attach there now. So look out for rearrangements because that could play a really big part in this SM1 style of uh, reaction mechanism. In the other case where you're using PBR3 or SOCL2, um, it's SN2. So there is no there are no intermediates. Uh, to do hydride shifts or alkyl shifts so you don't need to worry about rearrangements in the other reaction so this is something that I wanted to uh, mention but I forgot to so I had to make a second part to this topic so look out for rearrangements I can't stress that enough so make sure you guys understand that there's possible rearrangements in this type of reaction so now for the next video I'll be discussing different types of reactions specifically dehydration reactions dealing with alcohols so please stay tuned